Hi, guys. You guys have been doing really, really well this week with some of your um, mental addition strategies. I've been really impressed with the way you've been able to add numbers quickly, trying to use just strategies within our brain, which is great. Sometimes, though, um, mental strategies aren't the best strategy to choose um, with larger or more difficult numbers, and we need to use a vertical algorithm. Now, algorithm sounds like a really tricky word, but it is just a fancy word um, for a process that we use to solve addition problems when numbers are stacked one on top of one another. And it should be familiar to you guys because we have done it before, but I'm going to give you a little reminder. Okay, so behind me here I have um, two number sentences. So we've got 17 plus 31. And to solve these as a vertical algorithm, we need to stack them on top of one another. And I always like to put the largest number on top just because when we get to our subtraction, that's something we need to remember as well. So I'm going to write 31 plus 17 and I like to put a little line underneath so I know that underneath that line is my answer. It's not more numbers that I'm adding together. Um, a little trick that I like to remember as well is that we start from the right to get the question right. So we can't start over here in the left-hand column. We need to start in our ones column, the right-hand column, to solve the question correctly. So if I'm starting in my right-hand column to get the question right, I've got 1 plus 7 equals 8 and I write that directly underneath my ones column. I move across 3 plus 1 equals 4 and I write that directly underneath my tens column. My answer is 48. I've got no more numbers to add up so 17 plus 31 equals 48. We've used a vertical algorithm to solve that question. So this is a question that wasn't needing any renaming, um, and renaming is when we have more than 10 come down into our answer section here, and we'll have a go at that in the next question. Alrighty, so we've got 49 plus 123. Again, I like to start with my largest number on top because that sets me up really well for when we get up to some vertical subtraction algorithms. So we've put 123. 3 on top and I need to stack my number 49 underneath and I need to be mindful of the, the columns that I put it into. So 49 is a two digit number, I need to make sure it starts in my tens column. 49, put my line underneath there again, my addition symbol so I know that that's what I'm doing, I'm not adding, I'm not subtracting or uh, multiplying. Um, and I need again to start from the right to get my question right. Um, and there's three columns for me to work through this time around. So 3 plus 9, this is going to equal more than 10 and this is where renaming comes in. I'm going to change my colour so you can see how I do the renaming. So 9 plus 3 equals 12. We need to keep the 1s down below and we need to rename and carry our 10s over. So 3 and 9 equals 12. We keep our 1s. We rename and carry the 10s over. Then we've got 2 plus 4 equals 6 plus one more equals seven. Pop that down here as well. And then one plus nothing, because there's nothing down here, equals one. So this shows me that 123 plus 49 equals 172. And this problem, this algorithm needed renaming because one of our columns added to more than 10. And so we need to keep our ones below and carry our tens over. Feel free to watch this video um, as many times as you need so that you can see the process of renaming. Um, you have a number of different questions to work through. There's a um, start here worksheet um, for most of us, and I think most of us would be um, able to start there. It's got a bit of a mixture of um, vertical algorithms with and without renaming. Uh, some of us are really confident with um, vertical addition and that is great. I still want you to have a go at the start here, do as much as you can, but then you definitely need to go on to the challenge and start, um, step up today. If we're finding um, the renaming is too much for us, um, maybe have a go at the step down, which is just some vertical um, addition without any renaming at all. And you can just practice that process. Try your very best, guys. And again, please send through any questions you might have to the teacher who's online today. 
But before you do that, maybe rewatch the video so that you can see the process a couple of times over. The more you practice, um, the better you will be at this.